Welcome back to Spicy Tech. Today we have amazing news. We are running now version 11. 3.3 and what we're going to be running here is just a quick first impressions on how it performs we have some rainy conditions right now but i'm just super pumped because this is the first time we'll be running it on this car and i'm just looking forward to see how it performs over the highway we have the the notes here and i'm pretty sure you're well acquainted with it if you have been following the um, the releases but the main thing for me uh, that stands out is how it performs on the highway when it's close to trucks uh, also when it has when you're going fast around corners around curves on the highway how it manages that too as well because you will see that in our test today the lane changes in dense traffic i'm not too sure if you might have some dense traffic now going on the highways or coming off of the highways or going on to the interchange uh, between highways uh, we'll see how that goes but that's the main thing right now i'll be looking at oops all right <laughs> so it engaged autopilot first but then didn't oh whoops it wants to make a left here okay a little bit uh a little bit aggressive there but uh it did it and you can see here the improved visualizations wow I would have preferred to have like a clear day, but now it's pretty much really cloudy. They might have some snow, some rain, but it's also a good test to see how it performs. And this is just my first impression. And we can go. There's a car oncoming traffic right here. Uh, it, it went up, made that left turn and made it pretty confidently though. Like it felt, I didn't feel um, anxious or scared or fearful. It just made that turn and it made it really well. The rain is picking up though, and I'm hoping that it uh, it doesn't get any worse than this because that will pretty much ruin my <laughs> my test. But it also is a good indication as to how well it performs in inclement weather. Left turn coming up here indicates immediately. Still picking up some speed here. I would want to. Okay, so it's slowing down and. Uh, Whoa, okay. So it made the wrong turn, it corrected, and then it went into the correct lane. That was, that, what? That was a, that was pretty impressive. That was a quick turnaround time. Making a left turn here now. Uh, it's yellow light, we have to go. And it also made that pretty well. We're gonna be merging onto the highway now. We're going onto the 400 South. start indicating now yeah perfect before it didn't use to indicate when going into these on ramps so that's a major improvement now you're making a, a sharp turn here and before it used to have a bias on the left side now it's maintaining control in the middle lane here in the center of the lane and that is confidence inspiring like honestly it feels really well we have some trucks now uh, there's a truck to my left it's picking up some speed. The lane ending sign, the left side here is a little bit tricky. I would start indicating, but now it's just brute forced into getting into the, uh, into the lane out of necessity. You have another lane ending sign here, and we need to start indicating to get into the left lane. It is not doing that. And we have a truck here. Uh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? It's going to do it just off of brute force. There's no indication at all. So there should have been an indication to go into that left lane. I ensured that there were no cars coming in from behind me. So that was fine. But I would have indicated to get out of that lane ending sign. And I think that's something trivial. That's something that they will be working on. Oops, we're getting some full self-driving degradation there, which is, which was I, I was hoping not to get. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. We're, we're keeping steady at 100 kilometers an hour here. We're on to the busy 400, and we're going on to the busier 401. Traffic is steady. 
it's not uh, too congested. Visualizations are clean. But we need to start getting into the... I would have started getting into the, the left lane. Wants to make a lane change, it chimes because I have it enabled. But we have a car in front of us that is stopping and slowing down. We pick back up our speed and we're good to go. It's keeping a, a safe distance, it's keeping about you know three or four car lengths distance between myself and uh, the car in front, so that's good. Car slowing in front and the truck is a little bit on to the lane. Sees the, the gap and is closing it now. We are a little bit close to the, the lane marking signs here. It's making the turn, but it's a little bit biased on the left side, I find. And that had different behavior from actually similar behavior. It's taking some time to slow down here. This car's merging behind me. It reacts quickly, but this car is still in our lane. Picks up some speed. And we are off. A lot of traffic. A lot of uh, rush hour traffic picking up here. We have to get out of this lane here. We have to get out. We can't do that there. So that, that wasn't safe. That wasn't safe. So I just disengaged there by pressing the brakes. I'm going to re-engage now. It wants to do the lane change here. It accelerates, makes the lane change confidently. And that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Getting the full self-driving degradation sign again. Wants to make a lane change here. Okay. The lane changes are definitely human-like. It feels really, really natural. It is very impressive. It, the, I am telling you right now, it really feels confident. Really feels confident much more confident than the previous build and it has to be that way especially when you're around so many cars going at high speeds uh, it started stopping as soon as it realized that the traffic in front was slowing down so it looks like it's a little bit more cautious especially with the, deg uh, the self-driving degradation sign showing But I am impressed because honestly, at this speed, this amount of traffic, it seems to be handling really well, really confidently. It's really confident on these uh, lane changes, especially was really great. The only thing so far that was not impressive, um, which I kind of expected was the lane ending, the lane ending signs, it didn't pick it up and it didn't indicate to merge. Because that would be, you know, a main thing. That would be the main thing, really, to, to merge onto the, uh, the highways. It realized that there was a truck near to us, and it swooped away from the truck. Yeah, it's... That's a good kind of uh, best practice behavior. But it can be a little bit tricky, especially if someone else is uh, close to, to the lane line next to us. So that's a different behavior. That's a different behavior I'm seeing here with the trucks. And that was also outlined in the notes too as well. So no surprise there. Well, we have to get into Allen Lane. We're supposed to be exiting here. Ah, uh, shit. Ugh.
so that could be just navigation data it's not updated I'm not too sure let us know let me know what the what do you think that is it was supposed to get into Allen Road and it just went straight went straight I think that's map data it's not updated as yet so we have a sharp turn here before it used to make this very hesitant and very awkward but now wow wow really really smooth on these turns really confident human like it is human like this is how that's probably even better than how i would make that turn i mean which is kind of sad but you know you understand what i'm saying like it it feels really well really well thought out but look you have a you have a lane ending sign here it's indicating but it's not moving out it's not moving out of the lane which is strange so i had to uh disengage there wants to make a right turn here we have uh, we can go yeah that's fine and it picks up it just picks up instantly when it makes that when it makes lane changes it picks up instantly and that's what you need especially when you're on these busy streets so there's definite improvements there we have a wide road still trying to make sense of how the scent itself um, before it used to ping pong but it's a little bit better now and now we have to get onto the right side here just coming down to our last turn and i want to leave it there for the day don't forget to like subscribe click the notification bell but let's see how it tains this corner here because it used to give some issues here does it stay in the lane oh yes it does stay in the lane before if you look at our previous videos you would see that it would actually it would actually uh, go over that line it would go over that line and wasn't safe because if there was a car coming on that lane we could potentially hit them so very impressive very impressive they still have to work on the lane ending signs i think that's something trivial and can be worked on there's also map data but in terms of switching lanes on busy highways finding gaps and making those lane changes it's making it extremely confidently and that is very impressive and on that note thank you again for tuning in and let us know how we can improve and if you enjoy our content subscribe for more thank you take care bye bye